Anyway, I guess if you're starting a federation, you got to have a champion, right? you got to have a champion at some point. What's a federation have a champion? And we do have the BCW Niagara Frontier Heavyweight Championship belt, which I'm holding here in this very hand. Right. Now, what we're going to do is, they never taught me that in law school. I don't want to waste my life around that. But what we're going to do tonight is we're going to crown the initial heavyweight champion. Now, there were four top contenders. <laughs> And I'm going to have Dan draw the names out of the cup. We're going to pick two names, and they will face each other tonight for the Niagara Frontier Heavyweight Championship. Dan? Now, Dan, this is totally on the level, right? As far as I know. Okay, good. Just pick a name. The first contender is... Rick Matrix! Yeah. One more name. I'll fight all three of them guys. <laughs> and Rick Matrix will be facing for the belt tonight. H.C. Lowe. Yeah. So that will be our main event tonight. Now, we got We got Rick Matrix wrestling H.C. Lowe. However, you got the boy from North Tonawan in New York, and I have no opponent. So what are you going to do about me? I mean, there's a guy in the ring that I've been wrestling up and down the road all across this country for the past three years, and every night that me and him get in the ring, we take each other to the absolute limit, and we beat the living hell out of each other. Now, what I say, Ivan Ian Paler, Mr. Commissioner of Buffalo Championship Wrestling, is you make each and every one of these people happy, and you book a match between Troy the Boy Buchanan, the man from North Tonawan in New York, and my arch enemy, Ian McKay. Now, Ivan Ian Paler, what do you got to say about that? The boy! Give it up! Yeah. Yeah. I think, Ian, I think you're up to that, aren't you? Yeah. Well, then tonight, well, you have something to say? Shut your mouth, you little nerd! Yeah. Number one! Number one! I'm a Jets fan! And I ain't joking, that's the truth! Number two! Troy, we wrestled last weekend in Rochester, and I won the Rochester Street Fight Championship. Now, tonight we are going to wrestle, and it's going to be a Buffalo Street Fight that's going to go all over this building. But more importantly, my mentor, one of my best friends, will be fighting for the Buffalo Championship tonight. Rick Matrix, so I'm gonna stop talking and let Rick the great H.C. Loke on the mic. I really don't have much to say. I mean, it didn't really matter who I was gonna face. Let's be honest. I don't come here to lose, I'm not a loser. I eat, sleep, and breathe this sport more than anybody else. I love it to death, and tonight, if I gotta bleed, and if I gotta sweat, and I gotta pay the price to get that gold and to prove to you people that I got what it takes, then that's exactly what I do. Yeah. There ain't anybody in this city, in this state, or in this country has got what I got. Wow. And now I'm gonna bring it here and display it as only as I can do and show you that I'm the best. And at 6'3", 285 pounds, I'm gonna flip this building on end and show you what it's all about. And show you what it's all about when we get Saddam Hussein and Osama bin Laden and all them freaks. I'm gonna show you what it's all about. For those of you who might not know who I am, my name is H.C. Loke. I spent two years on the road with ECW. Not a piece of crap buildings like this one in Buffalo, all right?
Let me tell you something. Somebody like Rick Matrix, yeah, he's a big guy, 6'3", 280, whatever. It's all a bunch of fat coming out of his ass, I'll tell you right now. Because you're gonna see in the middle of the ring, although there might not be an ECW anymore, H.P. Loke still knows how to get extreme. It's a match tonight for the inaugural Niagara Frontier Heavyweight Champion, H.C. Loke against Matrix in this very ring. And also, and it will make it interesting with Ian Decay and Troy the Boy Buchanan. Let's make this a Buffalo Street Fight match. Oh, wow.